Alright, so first of course we're going to start with an eye primer. I'm going to use Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Alright, so next we're going to start with the pigments. Um, actually, no. We're going to start with a light peach uh, creamy eyeshadow. I'm going to use this one from a Wet n Wild palette. It's a Paradise Cove, and I'm going to use this light peach color right here. And just with a big flat eyeshadow brush. And with this, you just want to apply it over the entire lid. Okay, next we're going to take um, a small eyeshadow brush, let me find it, like that, and I'm going to pick up Max um, Golden Olive Pigment, and if you have, uh, this is what it looks like, if you have um, an eyeshadow that's similar to this color or even a little lighter, that would be fine too. So we're just going to pat this in the lid, and then we're just going to apply this to the lid from the lash line um, up into the crease really simple this would be especially great for those girls uh, those of you out there that don't have much of a crease because you don't have to define one or anything like that so alright so next we're going to take a small flat uh, liner brush and get some more of the same color so we're going to continue this underneath the eye. So you can put like a Kleenex down here if you want to hold it on or put some uh, loose powder if you want to make sure you don't get any fallout. So just continue this all the way into the inner corner. Alright, so next I'm going to use MAC Pigment in Night Light. Which is just a darker kind of olive green color. And using the same flat brush, I'm just going to get some of this. And you're going to apply it just to the outer corner of the lash line on the top. This is just going to add a little bit of definition without it being really noticeable. Okay, so just like that. Okay, then with a little more, we're going to do the same on the bottom. Okay, and for the last shadow, I'm going to use a vanilla colored highlight, or I guess it's kind of cream, it's not vanilla, uh, it's from the, another Wet n Wild palette called Silver Bells, so it's that one. We're just going to pick up a little bit of this kind of on the tip of the brush, and then you're going to apply this to the highest point, the highest arch of your eyebrow, and then just blend it a little bit out from there. Alright, so now for the blue liner, I'm going to be using MAC uh, Hyacinth Pencil. And that's what it looks like. So with this, we're just going to line the waterline, and you want to get in as much as you can in there. Um, it looks like she's wearing more of kind of a bluish purple liner that's um, just kind of medium tone. So this is actually looks a lot like it on my waterline. So I'm just going to use that. Then I'm going to curl my lashes, apply some black mascara, and do my eyebrows. Okay, so for cheeks, um, I'm going to use just a nice pink blush. I'm using MAC Pink Swoon. And you're just going to get that on a nice 
fluffy blush brush. And with this, we're just going to apply it to the apples. And then just blend it up and out just a little bit. Okay, so for lips, um, I'm going to use a clear lip liner. This is from Avon. It's kind of funky, but it's going to make this lipstick apply a little more pigmented. So I'm using NYC in Chiffon. And then on top of that, I'm going to put Revlon Super Lustrous in Pink Afterglow. Alright, so here's the finished Evangeline Lily look that was obviously inspired from the pictures that I showed earlier. So uh, hopefully you guys like it. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it looks a lot like the picture. So uh, keep checking back for more videos and I will see you later.